Hey guys, Laura with Garden Answer. I'm fertilizing some trees today. This is something I like to do every spring and fall. It's a little bit later in the season than I like it to be. We just moved into a new place, so better late than never. Uh, I like to do it on young trees and uh, any tree that's exhibiting any kind of health issue. I typically don't fertilize big established mature trees that are looking healthy. Uh, every once in a while I'll throw some fertilizer on them just to keep them happy because happy plants are much more able to withstand any kind of weather condition uh, and pests and disease. Uh, let me show you what I like to use. I'm using Tree Tone, which is a slow release organic fertilizer. Uh, first thing you need to do is figure out how many pounds you need. And there's always a nice application rate chart on the back of the bag. So to figure out what you need, you measure four feet up the trunk from the ground. And at that point, you measure the diameter of the trunk. And that'll tell you how many pounds to use. The goal when you're applying your fertilizer is to get that fertilizer as close to active roots as you can. So you can do it two different ways. Best way is to use an auger and make 12 to 15 inch deep holes every two feet along the drip line of the tree. And you can find these for fairly inexpensive. If you already have a drill, you can pick one of these up for $15, $20 right around there. If you do not want to make that sort of investment, you can just go ahead and use a shovel and lift up little pieces of sod, throw your fertilizer under, put the sod back down, and you're good to go. The drip line of your tree is where the outer branches end. Like think of your tree as a great big umbrella and wherever the rain would drip off the umbrella, that's where the drip line is of the tree. That's the easiest way for me to remember it. Um, oftentimes the root system of your tree spreads out several times wider than the actual canopy and the water and nutrient absorption is the most active right at the drip line. So that's where we wanna get our fertilizer. So we are going to be making 12 to 15 inch holes every couple feet all the way around the tree. So here I go. All right, <laughs> pro tip of the day, make sure to charge your drill batteries so you don't have to upgrade to this number. Now I'm gonna take the amount of fertilizer that I need and divide it evenly among the holes that I just made. Now I'm gonna water it in really well. This is a very important step because this is what pushes the fertilizer even closer to the roots and makes a tree be able to utilize it and take it up into its system. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.